Looking for a quick and easy way to get your Tau onto the table? Look no further. My name is Ollie, you are watching Void Space Alpha, and today we're going to be painting up some dark blue green Tau. So the first thing you're going to want to do with all of your miniatures in this army is give them an undercoat and I've gone for Dark Scale Green by Colour Forge. It's like a really deep bluey green, well you can see it on the screen now. And um, that's going to be the colour for my towel set, so let's get cracking. The first colour you're going to need is Army Painter Dark Stone and we're going to be using this to do all of the Under Armour on the model. Now I know what you're thinking, the Under Armour should be black. Why aren't we using black? Well, there's two reasons for that. One, we're going to be using black on another part of the model. And two, if you use a wash over black, not a lot happens. And with a speed paint, we don't really want to be going in and doing highlights and picking up ray surfaces and stuff. We just want to be chucking a wash on it and getting it ready for the table. So that's why we're using a slightly lighter color. On to our next colour now, and it's going to be trusty old reliable Abaddon Black, and we're going to be using this to pick in all of the weapon details that would traditionally be black. So again, have a look on the box art or the Games Workshop website, and we're just going to go around and fill in all of those areas on the weapon specifically that should be black. And once the black's done, you'll have a model that looks like this. I think you'll agree that it adds a bit of difference of colour onto the model. A little bit of visual interest, so that's all good. We're going to be moving on to our lead belcher now. Uh, lead belcher is specifically just for the little armoured nuts on each side of the backpack, power pack, whatever. And yeah, don't do what I do and forget to touch in the eye lenses with lead belcher as well. We're going to be chucking a contrast paint over those shortly, so we want those to be nice and shiny and silver. The next paint you'll need is Astra Granite, which is a technical basing paint by GW. I know it's a bit weird to start the basing process whilst the model has uh, not been finished yet, but there's good reason for that. Everything on the model at the moment is drying, so what we want to do is get a decent thick layer of Astra Granite onto our base. You can see that I've glued my models onto some, I think it's three, maybe two millimeter cork board just to give it that sort of debris ridden look. They're going to be like a city fighting sept. So um, yeah, you want to make sure you get it sort of in between all the cracks of that and around all the edges because you don't want any of that primer showing through. The next paint you'll need is Flesh Terrors Red. Now I'm going to use this to dot in the eye lenses and give it a bit of characterful detail in the face area, but you can substitute this out to whatever colour you'd like. Um, I'd recommend doing a metallic a contrast over the top, just gives it a different look and feel, but you do you. And now that our Astro Granite's nice and dry, we're going to move on to our next paint, which will be Fog Grey, but to be honest with you, any light grey will work for this. Work it into a dry brush, get most of the paint off the bristles, you know the routine, and we're just going to dry brush the entire base. Now what this is going to do is two things, it's going to extenuate the uh, raised edges between that cork board and the surface, and it's also going to add like a layer of dust onto the Astro Granite debris sort of grit itself. Moving back to our Abaddon Black, get a little bit more of it on your palette if you've run out already and we're just going to touch in the base rim of the model and start to bring that whole final look together. Once that's all dry and set solid, what we want to do is move on to our Agrax Earthshade and it's quite an easy step this because we're going to be washing the base and the model all in the same shade. So just make sure you've got just enough on your brush that nothing's dripping off. Uh, place it in an area on the model that you can get to easily to start with and just move it around. We're looking to drive it into all of the recesses. We're looking to avoid any pooling, any dripping, anything like that. And we're just making sure that there's kind of like a thin film all over the model. Now the wash is completely dry and you've given your model a couple of layers of matte varnish, you can see we have a finished miniature. Now I'm a big fan of the dark towel kind of look and vibe rather than the sort of bold bright colours, so this ticks the box for me. Also it's sub 10 minutes so again this ticks the box for me. Um, this is totally the bit of the video where I should be thanking you for watching all the way through. If you've got this far, thank you, it does wonders for the channel. Other things that do wonders for the channel, other than the sort of engagement of watching it all the way through, is liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. I genuinely can't tell you how much that helps the channel, so if you have found this useful and you would like to see more, please do those things, and uh, I will see you next time.